Hello, my name is Tamara Lashan with Plant-Based Simplicity. Cooking made simple. Today we will be making our butternut squash boat. For the complete recipe, please click on the link below and visit our website. Let's get started. You first want to cut your butternut squash in half vertically and scoop out all of the seeds. Take a little olive oil and lightly massage it into the squash. Follow up with seasoning it with a little salt and pepper. Place on a non-stick baking sheet and place in the preheated oven for 45 to 50 minutes. Once finished, let it cool. While the butternut squash is in the oven, let's make our quinoa. In a medium-sized saucepan, bring your vegetable broth to boil. Once boiling, place in your 3 4 cup of quinoa and give it a stir. Once it starts to boil again, reduce your heat and let it simmer, covered. Now, let's take our orange, grater, and zest our orange. If you are short on time, you can purchase orange zest from most grocery stores. Cut your orange in half and juice it. You'll need around one tablespoon. If you choose, you can use orange juice, but my opinion, it's nothing like fresh squeezed orange juice. Up next, take your freshly washed clean kale and dice it up. Make sure to remove any stems. In a large skillet, place the rest of your olive oil and heat. Once heated, add your kale and cook until slightly wilted. Add your minced garlic. Then you want to add in your drained and rinsed can of chickpeas. your dried cranberries and add in any extra seasonings you may want to add. Now add in your orange zest. You can leave a little to add to the top of your dish if you choose. And add in your fresh squeezed orange juice and give it a toss. It is so pretty and smells so good. Now let's add in our cooked quinoa. This here alone will make a great dish. Once the butternut squash is cool enough to handle, let's take an ice cream scooper or any spoon and begin to scoop out some of the flesh, making sure not to scoop out all of the flesh, but just enough to create room for our quinoa filling mixture. Let's take our quinoa filling and gracefully stuff our squash halves. At 375 degrees, Return the stuffed squash to the oven and bake until hot. No more than give or take 10 minutes. Now here comes the fun part, for me at least, creating our presentation. Well, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and most definitely enjoyed the meal. Please comment, like, share, and please visit our website for more plant-based simplicity recipes. Thank you for watching and remember, seasoning is everything.